just got done cooking. I have two toasts, three sausages, and six whole eggs. And I know what you're thinking. Why not egg whites? I'm not cutting. I don't give a shit that it had extra fat in it. I'm just trying to get my calories in and get big. Bon appetit. Not my best work. While I'm eating, I'm going to see what finals I have to do today. Which I don't think it's that much. I think it's uh, transfer experience. For y'all who don't know, a student at the University of Mississippi, which is Ole Miss. And also, I am a cheerleader here, so I have to stay big, have to stay fit. Plus, it's national season, so we're basically running around with our heads cut off trying to get everything ready. And a lot of the times, we have two days. So two practices each day and you know telling how many calories I burn while doing that. So the moral of the story is I don't count macros, I just try to eat a hell of a lot of food to maintain my body or get my body fuel to push through and have enough calories so I won't decrease in weight. So as long as, as long as I stay in that calorie surplus, it should be okay. Now, I honestly don't know. Today is Tuesday. I hit back and bodies yesterday, but I also hit chest, shoulders, and triceps Sunday. My legs are still toast from the last leg day. Like, they're still sore. So, it's kind of going to play it by how I feel around that time. I normally go to the gym around 6, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. Really just depends on how I'm feeling and honestly who's on the game. Uh, play a lot of video games, as anybody my age probably would. Enjoy it while you can, so I'm taking advantage of school, lifting, cheer, and gaming. And I have a girlfriend, so that's where the majority of my time goes. Spread it out pretty, pretty evenly, I think. School probably gets put on the back burner sometimes, but I'm always getting work done. No matter what, due date, it's going to get done. If it's five hours, three hours, one hour before, or just getting done. Let's look at this transfer experience class. And I don't even see the final up yet. Like you said, it was getting posted at noon. It is 1231. Probably came in from the, from the window when I opened up. It's hot as balls in here. So fucking hot. Let me take this on chill. That's actually here. That's actually here. Pretty good. I have kinesiology. Kinesiology final Thursday at 8 o'clock. So I'm done with my kinesiology lab measurements and statistics and exercise science. 
I'm done with that class. And transfer experience is due. Actually, it's due Thursday, but it opened today. Behavioral aspects of weight management. You know, papers for the final. That's one of the six page papers I talked about in my previous video. But overall, I'd say it's been a pretty successful semester. Not always in my favor, but pretty fun. It's definitely flown by really fast. Super fast. But now, basically for Christmas break is coming up. So a lot of the students will be going home the month of December and January but since we have nationals like the week of January 10th through 17th I really don't know the exact days we have to stay and do two a days through the whole time but until December 22nd and we get like four or five days off I can't really remember I just go day by day. I'll go ahead and spark this down and I guess we'll get the day started. Okay, so I'm currently going to Walmart right now. Uh, I'm about to pick up some nair so I can nair my hairy ass chest. And I think I'm going to pick up a couple other things, but I just don't know what yet. Uh, so it's a pretty day out here. Uh, Mississippi needs to make up his mind if he wants to be warm or cold. We haven't had a fucking cold winter yet, really, to be honest. It's been cool. I don't think it's even dropped under 32, even at night. Well, maybe a couple degrees under, but not too much. All right, bitch, there you side. So, besides that, it feels pretty fucking good outside. And, uh, yeah. So, ate breakfast. What time is it now? Let's see what time it is. Uh, 3.15. So I ate breakfast around 12, so I probably need to be getting in some kind of meal. Either it's light, heavy, I don't know yet, but not really feeling hungry, but I need to eat. There we go. Now y'all can see me. It's pretty bright outside. Very pretty day. For Jim, I still don't know exactly what I want to hit, but we're going to fucking absolutely destroy something. But yeah, it's been a minute since I dared my chest and my back, which unfortunately for me, I grow a lot of body hair. Know some people see that as not aesthetic, not aesthetically pleasing, but my girlfriend don't mind, so I don't care. But I also want to get back on my grind and try to blow up. I want to get big in the fitness industry, even though I'm not. Like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my thing falling, my phone falling. I want to get big in the fitness industry. Um, but today is day one of that. Just vlogging, telling the viewers kind of what's going on, what's going on in my life. Um, and that's mainly it right now. Hold on.
<sighs> yeah, so Walmart definitely have to get some more fair life chocolate milk. Uh, hopefully, I got enough money for all this shit. Ooh. It's really not looking too promising. It is not looking too promising for you, boy. Just had to spend three hundred dollars because my girlfriend's car got towed from my apartment. So that kind of set me back just a tad. But other than that, it'll be fine. I got money saved. No, she would have done it for me, so I don't mind doing it for her. Oh, this phone's gonna fucking break before the end of this fucking video. That's what happens when you ain't got money for shit. You just try to make some shit out of nothing. And then it's shit, but it's something, you know? Because you done made it something. But other than that, this is recording off my old phone. So the quality might not be the best, but we have to make some shake. I don't. Me personally, I don't want to have to work a nine to five job for the rest of my life, if that makes sense. I want to pursue this fitness fitness career uh, and take it as far as I can if it eventually blows. But hopefully it does. I know I have to increase my viewers on TikTok and other things, other platforms, start branching out, and uh, I'll eventually do that. Sweet fucking parking spot right at the front. Dope! But yeah. I gotta get back on my fitness grind, bro. I still been going to the gym, just have not been consistently posting, haven't had the motivation to post. Um, it's been rough, it's been rough on me, but I'm back now and I'm at Walmart, so I'm about to run in and I'll see y'all later. <laughs> That being my first set, that actually felt pretty good. Started out with a warm up just with one plate, just to see how it would feel. And I honestly it just felt too light, so I threw a quarter on each side. And uh, I think that'll be pretty good for 12 to 15 rep range. I actually like working out on the Smith because I can damn near just push all the way to failure and rack it on the lowest one. I feel like that pushed me just a little bit more than I know. I can rack it right there you know, without having a spot. With a balance spot and free weight, I'd want to hand around that 12 range. So I wouldn't look like a fool with that. Weight dropping on me in the gym. That's it too.
does it get harder and harder. But obviously they're going to get harder and harder throughout the sense of it. For this last set, I decided to drop weight because it was harder for me to get to that 12 rep range. Since I have to drop weight, I'm probably just going to burn out on this set. So, let's see how many I can get now. you're probably thinking. You don't even have that sweat on that. But it's a difference when you have dumbbells and there's no resistance here. This is a constant uh, constant resistance since it's on the cable. So that's why I don't have that much weight on it. And I'm striving to get those half and quarter reps because those are good.
just when I sit down, the song sings. Those are for rear dilts. Kind of a rear dilt fly. Since I don't have that machine in this gym, um, I feel pretty good. I'm also thinking about when I come up, squeeze, resist down. Because at this bottom range, there's no tension. So I'm trying to think about not letting it go all the way down because there's no tension to keep constant tension on my rear dip. And I've been doing that for probably over a year. I've been doing this exercise. And I can say my rear delts have honestly grew uh, more than doing those regular chest supported cable. Not cable, uh, like a peg deck, but reverse peg deck. So yeah, that was the first set of that. Felt pretty good. Like I said, I'm not trying to go too heavy because I want to be able to resist down through this. This eccentric down and kind of just explode on the concentric. So, yeah, that's my mindset going through those. I think I'm only going to do three sets of these. And I might move to another rear deal fly. Rear deal fly, yeah. Oh, I actually might move those now. I think I'm going to move those now. Pick the lighter weight because I did not want to pick a weight that was too much. If I did, it would engage my traps and I'm trying to hit my rear delts. So lighter weight, I'm gonna focus on the squeeze the traction of the rear delts, and I can tell their funk fully now. Alright, finally done with shoulders. Let's check the shoulder pump. Uh, 
on a bulk, so it really don't matter about the definition, but just overall shoulders. Pretty pumped. I guess we can start arms now. Okay. I already did a set of these, but I forgot to hit record. So everything I explained, I have to explain it over again. So let me go ahead and get these sets up here. Two sets down. Like I was saying before, when I forgot to press record, that top portion of the lift, I'm really focusing on bringing my pinky in first. So my on north side twisting. So like twisting at the top. That's gonna give you just a little bit more squeeze this head of the bicep. So yeah, on to superset triceps. My last set, we're going to take off the pump cover because at this point it's just becoming a pump tease. <laughs> myself a little assistance. trying to achieve something. So, no matter what people say, or what people think about you, it don't matter at the end of the day. 
because it's bigger than you. So it's worth the humiliation when you make it. I always remember that. Never give up. It's really bad lighting here. There ain't much I can ever do about that. So yeah, um, basically you see me step out and get at a different angle, obviously because I was approaching failure, but just getting that different angle helped me lock out. So different angle, more reps, basically. So that's what I'm basically doing, trying to push them out. I'm super set in hammer throws with a tricep seat bag. Um, the setup I want to really think when I get down, I'm just parallel with my shoulders so I can take that and get a straight one. Um, Show me my lift. I think someone might need to start with my lift. Standing straight up, me decreasing my angle helps me just have a little bit more to get a reps out, a rib range out if we want. Since I started on my right tricep before and couldn't get as many reps on my left tricep, I'm gonna start with my left triceps. So they don't get an imbalance.
so much better. And I thank God. I'm gonna call it. I guess I'll go ahead and showcase the pump since I'm about to leave. Not bad. That's looking wide, especially not having a back pump. It's pretty, pretty pump. Might as well go back double by since I did hit the, did hit the biceps. We'll call it. Nice little shoulder and arm day. Overall, good pump today. I mean, you know it's a good pump when you can barely put your pump cover back on. So that concludes my shoulder and arm day. So like, subscribe, and turn on turn on post notifications. It will mean the world to me because, like I said, I'm trying to achieve something bigger myself and without you guys i will not be able to make that dream come true so like i said like subscribe turn on post notifications